We've taken a little field trip out to Oshkosh North to meet one of our Student Athlete of the Year finalists up for the scholarship for $1,000 from the Friends of OCM. I have Trevor Schulte here along with his coach, his soccer coach, Coach Kevin Batke, here to tell us all about this wonderful athlete we have and get to know you a little bit better. So Trevor uh, and Coach, thank you both so much for having us out here this afternoon. Okay. Welcome. So Trevor, first of all, um, of course, I got to ask you about your sports. You're a student athlete here at Oshkosh North. What sports are you involved in and and how long have you been playing them? Um, well, I did wrestling freshman year, and then I was like, well, I don't think this is for me. Um, and then I played soccer all four years. Um, and then uh, the spring sport this year, I would like to try tennis. I never tried it before. I know I was playing soccer in the spring for club, and I was like, I'm going to try something different this year. Yeah, a good way to kind of stay active in the off season Absolutely, for soccer, yeah. too. Very mm -hmm. cool. So four years you've been playing soccer, and uh, you've been his coach for, I'm assuming, most of the, that time. Yeah, he played varsity with me for three years. Um, I've known him probably the last six years or so. I started watching him before he was even here at school. So Awesome. And c what can you tell us about coaching him as an athlete? Um, what's he like to, to be around out on the field and on the he's, sidelines? He's one of those players that every coach really likes. Um, he knows when it's time to work and when it's time to have some fun. He's there for the right reasons. He doesn't take anything too serious. He wants to win. He wants to be the best, but he sees the bigger picture. Um, he's, he grew into a very nice leader for us this year. Um, he's the type of guy who isn't too loud, but he's not afraid to get on guys at times when they're not performing well. But he's also, when he does that, follows it up with what they can be doing or how they can be doing it better to you know, help the team out. Definitely. We hear that a lot about, you know, seniors, too, um, as they're in their sports. They're kind of developing a sense of professionalism and, you know, realizing the ways that they need to be acting both on and off the field. So it's great to hear that you've got those great skills, Trevor. <laughs> and you described in your essay portion of your application for the scholarship um, kind of a little bit of a challenge that you faced when you decided to take a UWO chemistry class. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what that experience was like for you. Uh, I think that was my first cap chemistry my first cap class it was cap chem and i was really nervous because people would tell me oh it, it's really tough but i was like well if i'm going to do something in a science and in math field then i probably should i probably should push myself and i've always pushed myself with classes so i said well if i don't if i don't get an a i'm i'm going to go there to learn so that's that's why i did it Definitely. And so it sounds like you've taken more chemistry classes after taking that one, too. Not, not more chemistry, but other sciences and math, yes. Well, I give you a lot of credit for that because that's not necessarily my strong point. So I've always got to give uh, some credit for those kids that are good at, good at science. And that kind of leads me into my next question is you're interested in kind of continuing that in college. You want to be an engineer. Um, what kind of engineer are you looking to, to look into? Um, right now, my plan is to be uh, an environmental engineer. Um, so work with water, soil, or air, air quality. That's really interesting to me. Uh, that kind of thing's important to me too. So it's something that I want to be able to, to care about when I'm when I'm doing my five to or my nine to five. You know. So yeah, definitely. So. And in your essay, you also kind of described why that's important to you. I mean, you it, you described how you want to do something that's going to make the world a better place and that's going to benefit everybody. Um, is there any specifics or anything that you any kind of dream job or anything that you're looking at, or are you kind of just going to take it step by step here? Um, I I want to like explore the field, and as I as I get to know more about what each type is about, then I want to make sure I hone in on that and eventually figure out exactly what it is that I like and exactly what I want to do. Something else I was kind of interested in, I just realized this a couple months ago actually was like green roofing, I think is really cool. So being able to design that or maybe incorporate that into what, uh, what I learned about would be what, something that I would like to look into. Wow. Well, I think we're going to hear a lot of good things coming out of you as you as you move on after high school. And Coach Backey, uh, you've worked with him a lot as an athlete, uh, but what can you say about his personality outside of athletics, outside of his sports? Just as a person, what can you say about Trevor? It's a very easygoing kind of guy. Um, as I said before, he sees the big picture, so he doesn't worry about little things. You know, he has a plan for life, and he, he knows how to follow and what steps he needs to take. So it's really good to see that uh, kind of focus. And I've seen it for the last couple of years in him that he really started focusing on what he wanted uh, in planning for the future, which is really good seeing a, a kid these days do that. Yes, definitely. It's not every day you see a high school senior saying exactly what they want to do when they go into college. So that's also a really cool quality to have. Um, you are a very motivated person. You know what you want to do. And looking at your transcripts, it's a, a, a 4.0 student. Um, but you are also pretty busy outside of athletics and outside of school. Tell us about some of the things that you're involved in outside of those things? Um, well, I'm either a 
executive officer or just a member of, let's see, Key Club, Rotary, uh, Polaris, Hispanic Honor Society. Um, so those are the main, the main four. Just a few things. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I, I enjoy it a lot. It's like, it's something to do when, I mean, when soccer ended, I put more work into that because when there's nothing to do, those extra two hours of your day, I don't want to sit there and just keep doing homework or sit there in front of the TV. So you gotta find something to do. And I really, really enjoy volunteering. So that's, mm -hmm. that's something that I feel like I'm using my time. Exactly. Around, so. That's really cool to hear. And Key Club is one of those main volunteer mm -hmm. clubs that you're in. Um, any specific places that you've enjoyed more than others? <laughs> um, oh, man. A I lot know of there's it, a lot of them, especially yeah. in that club. But. Yeah, so, I mean, Key Club, one of the favorite, my favorite things to do, and well, actually kind of least favorite at the same time, is highway cleanup because it's so nice to do, but it's so disgusting at the same time to know that the people don't even care what they're doing. So that's I mean, that gets on my nerves, but at the same time, I know I'm helping. And then for, for Rotary, we do like the shared harvest garden. So we grow the plants up and it's really cool to see. We put them in the ground, they grow up, we produce the food, and then we get to donate that food to the, the food pantry, which is really cool. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Well, it's pretty clear what you're passionate about as you're talking about the specific things that you were volunteering and what you want to go into after high school and everything. And uh, it sounds like you're, you've really got an idea of where you want to be. Uh, Coach Becky, any words of advice or wisdom for, for Trevor as he moves on in this next chapter of life here? I always have words of wisdom. <laughs> but uh, just, you know, have a plan and, and enjoy life as you go. You know, you have the plan. Just make sure that it's not all work. You got to have some fun. And I don't think uh, you're going to struggle with that. So. Definitely. Great words of wisdom. And um, any plans for your last summer in Oshkosh before you either um, head off far away or nearby for college? Uh, right now, I just enjoy time with my friends and, and family. So I know we're all, most of my friends are going off to different colleges. A couple hopefully will go to my uh, Platteville, which is where oh, I'm going to attend. But uh, just make sure I enjoy the time with them because I won't be able to see them every day of the week, so that kind of sucks. But I want to make sure I see them and my family, too, Soaking of course. Soaking it all in while yeah, you can, definitely. right? definitely. That's what I'm going to be doing. Wonderful. Well, Trevor and Coach Backey, thank you both so much for giving us a chance to get to know you a little bit better. Best of luck to you as you finish out high school and move on to college. And it was a pleasure meeting you both. Thank you. Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. The House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard. And Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. Oshkosh Today. <laughs>